everyone this is Stella welcome back to the channel um, hope everyone's doing great and behind me you can see the Grand Las Boa it's one of the oldest and earliest casinos built here in Macau and we're located uh, on top of a hill right now so you might hear occasional wind and I hope the sound will not interrupt the video um, anyway I, I just want to keep this video as short as possible uh, I just want to talk about some urban legends that I heard circulating while I was growing up as a witness back in the 80s and in the 90s this particular uh, some crazy stories that was uh, passed around each other um, was even given in public talks same story but passed on by different brothers like this particular story that uh, the, there was a demon uh, personified as a hermit who lives in a cave somewhere in the Philippines and somehow he receives names of inactive j dubs and he writes them down in the walls of the caves. So he's like the accountant of inactive j dubs <laughs> Funny, right? But I never found out the source of that story and nobody questioned it. And I don't think he was, I mean, I don't think the speakers were given counsel for undocumented stories. Um, I guess everybody bought the story, believed the story, nobody questioned it. So it passed around and it was used to plant seeds of fear among witnesses so they will uh, keep being active as a witness. Anyway, there's another story that I heard about haunted places and haunted houses. Why there were certain places that um, ghosts reside, things like that. And the explanation I heard is that was uh, when Jesus hurled Satan and his demon down to earth in 1914, some of them got stuck in certain places here on earth. Hence, why we got haunted houses, haunted places. <laughs> Funny, but well, it was justified by, by the Bible verses in Revelation and the prophecy about uh, Jesus reigning as a king in 1914 so <laughs> I don't know it's stupid stories but it, it kept circulating around witnesses well, among, among Filipino witnesses <laughs> funny I, I don't know if you guys heard stories like that in your own country but that's how it was in the Philippines <laughs> and there's another story that I heard from a sister in my old congregation because she was married to a faith healer. I, I don't know if she was a witness when she married this guy, but um, she is a witness, and the husband is not a what was not a witness, and he was a faith healer. And you know, in the Philippines, um, people goes to faith healers, not to doctors, uh, to find out the source of their ailments. So, the sister's husband is one of them, and he, she was telling us that her husband can see or can tell if a certain witness is uh, active or not or look warm or cold by the amount of by the beam of light he can see from from j -dubs. it's like there's on every witnesses there's a light beaming on top of their head that shows the amount of uh, activity I mean if they are real true believers something like that but yeah he can he said that her husband can tell if a certain witness is losing her faith or having doubts or a true believer so it's, it's just crazy the stories but when, when I was when I was young and I was dumb and because I was having questions in my head and I thought that her husband can read my, my mind, uh, so I stayed away from her husband whenever we, whenever the territory is located in their area. Because usually she will invite us to her place so we could have refreshments, drinks, and take rest. 
while preaching, but I don't go in, go inside and so I be, so I will not be, <laughs> so her husband will not see me and we'll see whatever light goes in my head. <laughs> I don't know, crazy. I was dumb and stupid, so <laughs> crazy. Anyway, what these stories that I was hearing when I was young, the funny thing is that Jehovah's Witnesses just buy them, just believe them. Nobody really questioned them because it was told by fellow witnesses, especially if it was told um, in, in the platform. Nobody questioned them, they just buy them. And the funny thing is if somebody say something against the religion, against the organization about child sex abuse, about the Watchtower being part of the UN, about the 607 BC a false date, about 1914 being a false prophecy, about the 1975 issue and things like that. Witnesses will get angry and will get offended. <laughs> but when they hear stupid stories like I told you, those urban legends that they heard, they just bought it, they just believe it. But if you tell them the truth about their religion, they will get angry and they will get offended and they will say nasty things. Anyway, I don't really get much nasty comments in my channel. Sometimes I will, but most of the comments I will receive are positive and supportive and uplifting and thank you for all of that. But I have a friend, a member of the group, who is also doing uh, uh, videos. Um, his channel is XJW Freedom Fighter, and he tackles some doctrinal uh, issues with the Jehovah's Witnesses. He also tells his story, um, but his channel is frequented, is being bombarded by Jehovah's Witnesses. And I saw in one... Um, channel that they are like uh, calling out each other to check his channel I mean yeah calling out on each other to check on his channel so they will report him um, and like his video and so that YouTube will take down his channel so imagine that witnesses in the Philippines doing that just to take down his channel so if you guys um, it will not take too much of your time and effort, uh, I will leave down his link in the description box below so you could check out his channel and could show your support to him. He's doing great videos both in Tagalog and in English and uh, it would be lovely if you could give him um, your support like the ones you're giving to me and I would truly appreciate it. And just to show that, just to keep him going on and keep doing the videos that he's making so that um, it will wake up witnesses or will help those coming out and to find support also and to find enlightenment. So, yeah, so that's all I want to share today. And I hope you share down your stories below in the comment section if you have any urban stories that um, you heard while growing up as a witness and i'm excited to see and to read uh what you guys have to share and yeah just to have a good share of conversation down in the comment section and i'm looking i'm looking forward to that and if you have any suggestions or topics that you would like me to uh discuss um please drop them by the comment section also and see what i can do so for now um have a safe week and keep in touch everyone and see you on the next one bye for now <laughs>